Okay, so today I'm going to show you how you can create this cool little abstract effect with uh, Inkscape. This makes for like a nice little um, accent piece for a header or some kind of background or whatever. So first thing we want to do, open up Inkscape, go to View, make sure you have Custom selected, then Zoom, go to One to One, File, Document Properties, and we're going to uncheck these two boxes right here, the top and the bottom. All three of these should be unchecked. X out. And then we're going to go to our Bezier pen over here. We're going to click that. And we're just going to click three times, make a little three-point little three point line. One, two, three. Just like that. Hit enter, and you got a little, a little bent line like that. Then we're going to go up to where it says Edit Path by Nodes. So we're going to click that. Click and drag over all three points to select them, and then come up here where it says Make Selected Nodes Auto Smooth. We're going to click that, and it's going to turn that line nice and smooth like that. Then we're going to come back up to our arrow, we're going to click that, Edit, Duplicate, and we're going to take this duplicated copy, and we're just going to drag it all the way over here. Yeah, about there. It doesn't have to be exact. Um, click and drag over both of them to select them both. Then go to Path, Combine, and then go to Path, Path Effect Editor. And from the drop down menu, the drop down menu, we're going to select Stitch Subpaths and then click Add. And then it's going to create five lines between those two lines we just created. So we're going to come over here to where it says Number of Paths, where it says Five. Get rid of that. Let's make it about 30. Yeah, I'd say 30 looks good. And come down here to where it says Stitch Path. Click this icon right here that says Edit on Canvas. Once you click that, you're going to get this green line between the two points. And with that green line, you can click and drag that and move it around. And the lines that we just created will follow the form of that line. And you can click on these nodes here at the ends. You click on one of these, it's going to bring up these handles. These handles make it even easier to move around. So just play around with it a little bit. Get it to a shape you like, you know, like a form you think looks good. Uh, you can even move this in like that. Um, something like that, I guess. Yeah, I'd say that looks good. Once you're done, go to Path, Object to Path, and then go to Path, Stroke to Path. Okay, so once that's done, you're going to get this. Come back up, up up to the arrow, click that, and then from there, you can you know change the color to wherever you want. You can make it red, you can make it blue. I kind of like how it looks um, when it's like a like a like an aqua blue color. Maybe even a little more blue than that, something like that. Maybe a little darker. Yeah, I'd say that looks good. You can play around with it, you know, make it look however you like. And that's that's pretty much how you do that. So if you have any questions, just let me know and I'll help you out.